the 32-yard line. Groshek, the running back. Hornybrook to throw on first down with a straight drop. Looking to the sideline. Picked off by Saquon Hampton for the second time today. Our football with Chris Apps continues with Saquon Hampton, who had an unbelievable game against Wisconsin with two interceptions, 10 tackles, one tackle for loss, and two passes broken up. What about that ball game? Have you ever had a game like that? Uh, no, I can't think today, not even in high school, that I had a game like I did this past weekend. What was it about Wisconsin? Because you look at the size of that offensive line yeah. and you know the ferociousness of their offense. How were you able to make some big plays? Uh, just film study allowed me to just be out there and be aware of what's going to come at me throughout the course of the game and it allowed me to make some plays. How important is that preparation in your mind? Uh, I think it's a very important because of the league that we play in. In this conference, you need to be able to have some awareness out there when you're on the field in order for you to be out there and make plays for your team. 36 games for the Scarlet Knights. Do you realize that it's been a long journey and that this is the end of the journey? Yeah, it's crazy. It flew by so fast. When I first came here, I remember the older guys telling me it was going to go by with a snap of the finger, and here I am now. Saquon, what has Rutgers meant to you in terms of your development as a person? Uh, it's meant a lot to me. It's developed me both on the field and off the field. I feel like I've developed as a man thanks to the coaches that I've, I've uh, had the opportunity to be with. When you say that there are lessons that you can take with you, in what regard, what, what's meaningful to you in terms of the way you handle yourself, your comportment, your attitude, things like that? Just how to prepare and how to persevere through hard times. I think those are the biggest things that I've learned since I've been here. And I think uh, those things will carry with me through the rest of my life. What has it been like to be part of the Scarlet Knights program? Uh, it's been great. I love it here. And it's, uh, the opportunity that I have here, my family comes out here to watch the games. That just means a lot to me throughout the course of my career. It was a good opportunity to have that. Think about the growth that the team has made the last couple of weeks against Northwestern and against Wisconsin. How would you put that in terms that we can understand? Uh, just the team, we, don't, we, just, uh, we never lose fight. We, uh, each and every day we come out here, we work hard and we prepare. And it allows us to have the opportunity to win games. And we haven't gotten that done, but there is improvement out there. What's your message to some of the younger guys in terms of dealing with adversity, and how do you get through it? Uh, just in terms of dealing with adversity, I tell the younger guys all the time that there's going to be good times, there's going to be bad times. You just got to keep your head up and keep pushing through, because eventually, once that's all over with, everything will come to light. Play action, Hornybrook on the roll again. Third time he's rolled out to throw, floating this one for his tight end, and it's intercepted. Saquon Hampton with his first pick of the year. When you've got young guys back there like Avery Young and Damon Hayes and you're talking to them about fundamentals of the game, first of all, what's your message to them in that regard? Uh, well, the position we play in terms of like fundamentals is you're going to make mistakes and there's going to be ups and downs. So the position we play, you got to be able to bounce back. And that's the biggest message I tell those guys all the time. Being young out there and make mistakes, you just got to be able to bounce back from it. What's your advice to these guys in terms of balancing academics and athletics? Uh, that's a task that is very difficult. It's a challenge, right? <laughs> yeah, it was a difficult task for me, and I just had to uh, get more tutoring and just be able to help uh, academically. My advisors helped me out. But do you think that the work ethic and the discipline that you use on the football field and in the classroom for football mm -hmm. has helped you with your classroom work with the academic side? Oh, yeah. One thing that uh, coaches have told me since I've been here that if if you work hard in the classroom, you'll work hard, you'll work hard on the field as well. So the, well, working hard in the classroom, it just leads to you working hard on the field and, and allows you to have success. 145 tackles, seven tackles for loss, four interceptions during your career. Do you think you've made the most of it? Uh, I don't think I've made the most of it. Uh, you could have done more statistically? I feel like I could have, just being hurt for the past two seasons. I missed a significant amount of games, so I feel like the opportunity to to do more was there, but uh, this is God's plan and sticking with it. When you think of your role as safety, how much do you think you're better in coverage than you are as far as coming up and making the hit, or do you think you do both well? Uh, I think you gotta be able to balance, especially in the defense, the scheme that we play. You gotta play a lot of man coverage, and you gotta be physical in the run game as well. Saquon, this weekend you've got Michigan coming to town. It's part of this Big Ten conference. Every week is a challenge. Have you enjoyed that aspect? Oh yeah, you gotta love going out there and competing against one of the best teams in the country. 
Uh, it's just what you dream to do. But it's every week. You know that you never can take a break. Oh, no. You never can take a week off. Is that something that drives you even more? Oh, yeah, definitely. Each and every week. You know you got a, a good component coming in with this conference. Uh, you're going to have a good team to play each and every week. And you got to embrace the challenge. You're a New Jersey guy who stayed home. Do you want other New Jerseyans to follow in your footsteps? Definitely. The opportunities here, the, the playing in one of the best conferences, if not the best conference, in the country, and you have the opportunity to showcase yourself here in your home state in front of your family and friends. Have you taken advantage of the fact that you're close to New York, you're close to Philly, you're near major marketplaces? Yes, definitely have taken advantage of it on uh, my free time, go out there and just enjoy the scenery and just enjoy what we have around us. So what would you like to say to Rutgers fans as far as the future is concerned? What do you think the future is for the Scarlet Knights program? I think the future is bright. I think we got a lot of young guys right now that are bought in, and they come to work each and every day. And I see it. Being an older guy, I see the younger guys. They don't, they don't, uh, they don't hang their heads. They keep fighting. And I think that the culture that is built here is going to allow us to have success. Saquon, you're a labor and employment relations major. What would you like to do as far as your career is concerned? Uh, when the game's over, I love football, so I want to be able to stay around the game and coach and continue to develop myself mentally. So, Saquon, what would you like to tell the people out there about you that we don't really know? Uh, that my name's spelled with an A at the end, not an O. And Saquon, I know a lot of people, they spell it with an O, but it's with an A. All right, but I'm still allowed to call you Saquon. Yes. And I can still say you played a heck of a game against Wisconsin. Yes, sir. Have a great season, <laughs> the rest of it. Thank you. And a good career following that. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for having me. Saquon Hampton, remember, spell his name with a... A. At yeah. the end. We'll take a break. More Art Football with Chris Ash coming up. <laughs>